Here we go, guys, rolling right into the next round of the finals. The grand finals. The grand will. finals. <laughs> Mason taking me to the house. First game, and uh, now we're we're both one and one. We Winner got some takes all. Wiz versus food. Wizard versus HB food, and uh, with a brilliant marketing play by uh, Stephen Woolley there on the right, we have every possible data token. <laughs> all of them. You can buy. All the new ones. We got the holidays. We got the new malware tokens. Those uh, seduction tokens. Even the mumbad token coming in the the mumbad side. And those the subscribers. lovely, lovely click trackers. And of course the click trackers. They get used Where are you used five percent of the time. I think I, I could have sworn I got those out. Oh, what a bummer. All right, credit liberated. I don't like this play, but sometimes you just got to do it. This is called just being anarch. <laughs> Take four. I'm gonna like this way better. I think if I cast or something. And it is day of the cast. All right, so that's that's strong, Tim. I like that opening. I like it. That's fair. You got to liberate it up. You've got two money coming in. That really sets up your economy early game. And especially Mason looking to establish that server so early. I've got to get in gear here. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, he's only got seven credits, so that's going to at least put him on the on the defensive when we start poking at ice. First is I've had worse. Now, it's worth noting, Mason has not dropped a game of food all day here. He has not dropped a single game of food. Mason's a great food player. He learns from one of the best, uh, Herr Sasha Friedman, who is a the Don Shuffle. Yep, second is Data Sucker. Third is R&D. Score the Vitruvius. Nailed it. Boom, that's that's, boom, one, that's boom. one way to beat him. That's what I'm talking about. Hitting R&D again, getting those Data Sucker tokens up. That's huge for my rig. That's a big deal, and only an Adonis campaign on the on the flip there. That's Watch fine. Watch that be an ABT out there in the blank. It's fine. I have no idea what that card is to this day. Uh, let me tell you. I do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I, I got the info after. Mason installs over R&D. I'm almost certain it's a CVS, so I don't want to touch it right now. All right, we got Daily Cast moving in. Maybe I should just go touch it to get rid of it, but nobody wants to do that early. It's just annoying. No one likes touching virus suites. Make him pay it. Make him pay it to clear the viruses. All right, Mason, uh, one rung of ice on every central here. Got a data sucker, two tokens. Still got plenty on liberated. Still got some money banked. And a good little early exchange here. That Vitruvius on top is it's good for you. exceptional. You need, you need a free two points against this deck. Like just a snipe out of hand or out of deck randomly, I think to to consistently beat it. If consistently, if, in quotation I mean, marks there. If you play on it, and that's a, that's see, the worst card, Steven. It's, but it's not the worst, and here's why: because he has no discard pile. Now, if he if I have trashed anything up to this point, I never run that face down ice. Never. So he's going to install one from R and D. Not a big deal. He had to pay four for that. That's reasonable. And then we'll see if he installs from hand. It could be bad. Uh, but it could not be. There's nothing There's nothing that's already been trashed. That's the key thing to me. And I'm going to get to go in and trash the Adonis regardless because I get through, so... There they are. There they are. There's those recurrings. Those are my favorite tokens. Yep. yep I'll yep. say that till the day I die. Maybe because you're always associated them with such efficiency. <laughs> <laughs> you mean I get this money back? All right, it doesn't install anything from here. Okay, so then so you're that fine. actually that. turned out pretty okay. But if okay. he did... Blah. Yeah, but now, like, I... See, to me right now, I don't run until I see Mimic ever. I, I can't afford that Adonis to get installed for free. That's just like outside the, one realm, run. <laughs> the realm of my of my brain. I won't do it. I won't do it, Tim. Take some money. Liberate some accounts. And install another cast. Steven, you have money. So much money. I'm in the money. I love it. That's what this L4J style deck does. It can put on a lot of long-term kind of sustained economy. Really nice. L4J, Steven? L4J. Looking for job. Wait, will you explain what that means? Uh, yes, oh, I'm sorry. It's uh, it's the Anarch variations that run Career Fair as a bit of an economy engine. So you're doing daily casts, liberated accounts, uh, Earthrise Hotel. I have one Ice Carver to kind of synergize with that as well. But it's basically, it's, if you're running Career Fair and you're running that suite, it makes liberated so much better. Uh, we call that L4J in the business. In the biz. Yeah, I've drawn some cards there. Looking for a job? I like to imagine Wizard with one of those signs. Yeah. Just looking for a job. <laughs> looking for a job. Uh, Ma business Master papers. Gamer. I'm unemployed. Looking at cards here. So really, you know, it's like, first of all, is Mason trying to do something weird in that remote? Is he going to bust out an ABT or something on me of Vitruvius? Knowing that I'm just gun shy on that uh, on that architect, could have a caprice back there. 
servers. I mean, all these HP servers are just garbage. It's just like the garbage. All those remotes. I don't want to. <clears throat> Third click is gaining some money. Money, money, money. And these are clicks that you eventually are going to have to take. So might as well take them now. <laughs> if you don't have a lot of other things to do, it, it can be nice enough. Just get it out of the way. And there's a sure gamble. So all the money. Breaker Bay Adonis. Breaker Bay Adonis, yeah, that's... Donnie. The Wiz is having a nightmare. <laughs> a nightmare. That's the last thing we want. Mason is establishing his economy here, and, and ultimately, pretty okay with this so far. I think that Mason, his chances of winning go down the longer this game goes, because... This wizard deck and these anarch decks that are looking to set up and play a bit longer of a game, once they get set up, I mean, it is... It's hard to keep them out. Uh, it's a real it's a real thing. You get the mediums going. You so get I, the Ice Carver, you get the net ready. I think if that Adonis had been a 3-2, a it would have been really tough for me to start to put pressure yeah. on this game. And you see, when you got four credits coming in, man, it's just so good every turn. <clears throat> Sitting on 20. First click is draw a card. Second is Peddler. Looking for that Mimic. Peddler? Peddler. Just so good. Oh, that it's is so a, good. a money card. It's so good. Everyone's been saying it, and they are right. Looking again at the Peddler there. A lot of great cards that could be. This deck installs a lot of things, both resources and programs. Not a lot of events, so it's especially good to pedal with. Pedaling. Pedaling ain't easy. It ain't easy. It actually is easy. You just trash it. And pedal for a peddler. Boom. If I had a dollar every time I pedaled for a pedal. Does that happen a lot? It's happened like four times. I think it's one of the first times I've done it. I'm, I was just needing more cards, right? Like that's a lot of times what you're looking for is mm -hmm. the things I need. I need to I need to shut down those architects right now. Like you need mimic straight up. And I'm I'm like totally okay breaking through Ichi and whatnot. There's Grimoire. a grimoire. It didn't go for Jackson there either. Then that's interesting to me. I'm not sure that's correct. I'm pretty sure that's wrong. <laughs> you you can't leave Jackson on the board. I mean, it would cost you three money to trap. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't cost anything. I've only got, he's only got one Adonis in the yard. So like shuffling him in is kind of a moot point. Uh, he's got more than that, I think. I think there's some cards face okay. down over there. They're hidden behind that. Uh, oh yeah, logo. I think he, maybe he did do that. That makes it a little bit better. All right, so installing and gaining credits. How about HB Engineering Future getting like 10 money so far already? Yeah, tons of cash. First click is draw. First click is draw. So and this is the thing, I mean, I'm, I'm getting to go through a lot of my deck here and get set up. More, more cards. We haven't seen the early pressure yet. Mason is, is definitely getting his economy set up though. I mean, it's he's pretty much good for the rest of the game. Uh, and there's the Jackson. And gonna put in, uh, looks like at least one face down and the Adonis. And then career for Earthrise. More Steve, cards you coming. you draw so many cards in this deck. Yes, it's what you I'm, do. I'm sensing a theme here. Yeah, well, you got to get into your tools, right? So the deck has a ton of tools in it, and you got to have them. And you got to know which tools you have access to before you play other tools, too. It's really, it probably needs some tweaking. Uh, but you've got a combination of Ice Carver and Net Ready and Otman and all your fixed breakers and your data suckers. And there's just a lot to, to try to keep tabs on, especially a hand of five cards. Sometimes it's just not enough. It's not. A lot of times, I would say. Yeah, well, we're not going to run anything to change it, so. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Mandatory draw. Starting things off for Mason there. Going to get... How about that Donnie? You're getting his full ticked Donnie. You just need to find a Mimic. Got two in there. And Mason is now just making a, an upgrade train to Paradise right now, which is... So disheartening. Is it a Caprice Ash? Is it a just two breaker bit? Nobody knows. I mean, it, it could be any number of things. There's the Mimic. That's good for you, Steven. Yes, very good. Installing the Mimic. And now we can run, right? It's like, what am I worried about? Second is Eli. Now what I've got to look out for is 
Uh, let's like bring something off the pedal. Gotta look out for Ichis with a CVS pop. That is oh, a, that's not what you want. A big problem. That's why I at least had two clicks. I could have clicked through on that. Exactly. Are you thinking about clicking through this, Steven? Yeah, definitely. I got a data sucker. He hasn't installed for like 20 turns. He's playing HB Food. I think the chances of hitting Agenda here are pretty phenomenal. And I get a token for my and trouble. And sticky fingers. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you got to give yourself accesses, right? Like, yeah. you can't play a robot game against HB because they're robots. Like, they're better than you at that. Make robot better than robots. Yeah, so click through it. Sure. I'm already there. Point not four. Okay. And he's archive, archive memories. memories. For the first time. Yeah, an archive memories. He's got it. He's got it in hand. And there goes the Adonis. See, now, you know... He's got an Adonis that was about to tick. I have to imagine he's holding at least one, maybe two agendas to immediately stuff into that server. And there it goes. So I, I presume that he did at least have something in hand. Whenever I checked. There goes the Earth Rise. And now the game is afoot here, guys. The remote is active, and it's just nonsense. What is that piece of ice, Steven? As you might expect. Architect. Honestly, I don't even know that I care. I think I'm sitting on medium in hand here, and I've got the Grim out. Mason's got a thousand monies. But Still have to worry about each CVS. Still have to worry about each CVS. It's true. For now. First is Jog. That'll get through Turing. If it's Turing over there. There's the medium. So we're gonna basically do a little counter punch uh, strategy here. If he wants to give me R&D next turn as well to score that agenda, then I am going to take advantage of it. And now, don't freak out. There is an ice carver on that street peddler. So if the Ichi comes out and the CVS is popped, I do have an answer to. But not an Ichi 2.0. Not an Ichi 2. That would be a, a bummer. Total bummer. Surprise ice carver is the best. Yeah, it's the only kind of ice carver I'm into. And Eli's just going to shut it up. It's the one that <laughs> still does such a good job. It's crazy. Ah, uh, uh, just pay uh, three for uh, it. <laughs> just pay three for that. It'll stop anybody. <laughs> just pay three. <laughs> Are you serious? There's a sure gamble. Eli, All right, it's a but, good card. But Mason has to be concerned, right? Like, what happens if I click through this Eli next turn and I see two cards off the top? Does he want that? Can he afford that? What if I just I think it depends on what's in his hand already. What if I install a Parasite and kill the Eli? And then hit it three times? And there's a Vitruvius, and installs back into that remote. So I think it's going boomeranging on the three twos here. Look at this guy. Probably hit another ABT, and he's putting the pressure on that he has to. And I've got to hope that my R&D pressure can be as good or better than his remote pressure. I think I've made the gamble here. I'm not really going to look for that remote. It's tough. Caprice and Ash. I mean, I here's the thing is, I just know that I lose. I do nothing but lose side games. I mean, it's kind of my MO. I just lose them all the time, so... <laughs> I'm burnt. I'm over Psy Games. I probably should go check it. There's the uh, Net Ready Eyes. Been sitting on that one for a while. And there's the Data Sucker. A DS. And there's the iPad Worse. I think I had two in hand. I may have had two. Free card draw right there. So three cards. You can't argue with the fill in your hand out there. Sometimes it feels way good. There is another Peddler. Now you don't have to worry about Ichis. Yeah, now it, all all ice is accounted for, I think. Except for barriers, because you don't have a barrier breaker. <laughs> Yet. Probably one on that first, that peddler you just installed, though. Yeah. Last is R&D. We're going to install a Corroder. Ah, oh, the old-fashioned way. Big of the boom. And let's see. Are we going to do anything else? I think we are. Yeah, you're going to install that ice carver. Install the ice for carver cheaper. as well. May as well save a credit. Now is whenever your rig gets scary. Steven. Now, I mean, now the rig is up, right? Like, there's not a lot needed here. CVS isn't scary at all. Um, I, I did pump the mimic with NRE to account for each E2. So it's a three strength corroder. Make it two strength, pay two to break it. You know what's way better than four credits to break an Eli? Two. Two credits. Two, my friends, two. Mason's, now Mason's gotta be looking at this, especially if you put a three two over here in the remote. He's got to be concerned. There's a toll booth. A bull tooth. Whoa. Well, that's actually only three to break, so. Thank you, Yogg. <laughs> three and two counters. <laughs> only one. Oh, one counter. Yeah. Same two cards? No, get it back. And then, yeah, spin it, get it back. Oh, yeah, and Yogg, yeah. Okay, come on. Okay, one, six, two. 
And trash to break your bay. All right. So is Mason gonna? Is he gonna? Is he gonna risk? I mean, this gets nuts, right? Can he? Can he score out the agenda that he just installed? He can. He's going to. There goes the Vitruvius. So now it's basically R and D for five credits a pop. That ain't bad. You got one unliberated. I could take two shots at this. That ain't bad, Steve. Yeah, but you know what? Mason knows. Like that's the thing is, if you give me this, if I take it and I don't hit, then I'm out of this game. Like I, I think without a doubt, I've cashed in all the money that I have. I have to draw into more money. I've already played a bunch of sure gambles. I need a I need to build up to another liberated. So it's like you can't. These are the kinds of plays where. You, you're tempted to bankrupt yourself, uh, but you you can't you can't think think past the current turn right. This is how I got way better in that runner. I would normally have just pounded that server, and hoped to scoop six points right. <laughs> but instead, you learn. Second is run. Maybe you might learn. Well, we'll see if I do it twice. We have a three strength UI. Lower, it to Lower it to two strength and pay two. Yep. Yogg is four strength. Ice Carver brings Tollbooth down. Pay three. Access. Trash, it. Trash the Adonis for free. Two. Score it. Uh, you just hate to see that. It's not the one that you want, but it's the one you'll take. All right, so we took an NAPD, and that <clears> actually <throat> is tough. Uh, I, I'm almost certain that I was hoping to play Liberated after that run. You have to take it, though. You have to take the. You know what you do against, against food? food. You have to you take, take the every points. point. You You've can got see. to take the points. Yeah. There's only nine of them in the deck, so. Yep. No second. No second click. So two clicks left. And see, here's the here's the tough part. What if he installs food uh, initiative into that remote? Install advanced twice. Well, then that's a bummer. Things get crazy for me at that point. I'm not sure what the answer is. I think I have to just take another shot at. R&D with four medium counters and call it a day. I mean, you know, you can get in there for what, three clicks and three money? You can see four cards? Pretty reasonable. Sorry. It's not bad. Not bad. You gain a counter as well. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. Seems worth it, whole turn for a counter and three cards. You got five in here? Four cards. All right, Mason's got five in hand. I'm worried about the initiative coming out here next I mean, time that just, remote. It's GG if it's there. It's GG. I, I think I have to probably try to contest it and win a Caprice game and trash an Ash and then go back in. But it's very tough. And contest it again. Yeah, or maybe maybe I just try to hit four points off R&D. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, so I must have been saving that Liberated. Had to take two credits and seed initiative here. That is a huge tempo seed. And I just... If Mason has this, install advance twice. Looks bad. It looks really tough, man. It looks really tough. Now, I think Mason's also okay with having an NAPD and doing the same thing. Uh, yeah. Install advance advance. Okay, so there we have an install over R&D and an install on the remote. And that is just it's a, a step very, in the wrong direction. Well, it's a conservative for play for Mason and a, a very good play. Because uh, he's he's thinking to the future here as well. So he's not going to risk anything. He's not going to risk me winning this. He thinks he can get better odds later on. All right, so gain a credit, install liberated, gain four, and then run HQ for the counter. And I'm just pretty concerned. <laughs> Hope it's not any PD in there. Archive memories, archive memories again. again. Not, not that important. I think I remember this card. I'm trying to scrap out. See, I was hoping to pull a couple of points there. Certainly hoping to pull the initiative. Uh, if Jacksoning. I, I need to be on six, man. I just need to be on six however I can get it. That's fair. You want you want more points? I would love more points. But putting them, being on six to their four is really important because then the install double advance gets you a free access, generally on R&D or HQ or a couple of free accesses. Free in the complete air quote sense of the word. In that they won't be able to defend it because they're having to score it instead. That's fair. All right, so Jackson over there is a huge relief for me. Yeah. I know that there's definitely not an agenda over there, so I can plan ahead a little bit. And I think that also signaled that there was not an agenda in hand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. 
Most, most likely. I yeah, I'm, at this point, I have Mason on Imogen is in hand. He just cleared out a bunch of cards with Jackson. So his hand is essentially fresh. Uh, probably worth checking again, to be honest with you. I'd probably check this again if I were me. I don't know what I actually do. Yep, so going to go ahead and run R&D here. Mimics up to four strength in case the CVS comes in. And the ichi there's the Ichi 2. All right, so Mason down to three credits. You see his economy can evaporate a little bit. Well, he's got a lot of big eyes in that deck. Mm-hmm. And this is, where, this is where ideally what happens is you make this play a little bit sooner in the turn, and then you go hit that remote. You, you have the chance to totally clear out Caprice and Ash. He doesn't have enough money to really do much. So it looks really, really good if you can make this play a little bit earlier. Probably could have. And I think I'm going to have to, I'm looking at probably having to click through one of these Eli subroutines to make sure I have four for the nap going into R&D, just in case. And I think, unfortunately, that Ichi 2.0, because I had to commit a little more than I wanted to that piece of ice, now I had to spend a click, and I can't spend my last click going over to that remote. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it's a bummer. Uh, He's using Jackson to junk up R&D. Yeah. Bay, Which is fair. Yeah, and that's... That's uh, definitely the thing that you want to do here, especially because you have to assume, is he going to install an agenda next turn? Does he have the money to threaten a score next turn? He can't get the initiative, at least. Yeah. yeah. Three money is not enough money to go for it next turn. Yeah, but I'm... Trash the ash there. Score oh, the NAPD. Shoot. Six to four. Oh, don't you hate that though? Six to four, guys. Oh, loady, loady. We got ourselves a game, and I'm on none money. Tim, I'll tell you what. If any of those two NAPDs were not NAPDs, I would have four more money, at least. And in many cases, maybe a lot more because that Liberated would have come out way sooner. This agenda just continues to have a huge impact on this game for that very reason. I remember whenever it first came out and you were people did not save for money. Yeah. It was the most frustrating thing in the world. Yeah. Nuts. We figured it out, though. We did. We sorted it out. All right, so now this is tough, right? This is kind of a rebuild turn. Mason installed credit credit? Mm-hmm. Is that a 3-2? I mean, at this point, him spending three credits to score a three two is my bet is my dream, because then I can hit that remote and easily win a Caprice. He probably can't res any eyes, trash the whole thing out, and he has to. More oh, like start he forgot his scratch. hedge money. Oh, right, that's what it is. Yeah, he got the hedge fund. It's all credit hedge. Yeah, so this is awful. <laughs> this is awful. Like next turn, it's like he has to have initiative. He just drew a ton with Jackson, install advance it twice, push the tempo here, but also. He, I'm on six, so he has to clear the medium, right? Don't you think? Yes. He has to purge, and then the next turn he has to score the initiative. And I think you also know at this point that he's not on CBS yeah. right now. Yeah, I would have to assume he would have done, done, done it. Medium run. Definitely. Man, this is a fascinating little game. Just a little game of that runner. Now it's just money, and where do you go? Like, that, it's totally set up. The only thing I could possibly dig for is uh, maybe one more liberated, I think. I think there's one more in there. I do have a Katie in there as well. Visage, not really going to do much at this point. Man, if you had a Katie early in this oh, game. Oh, I know. I was I was hoping to find it off all those peddlers. Whew. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's it's good. It should probably be two Katie, no no Visage. A Katie economy against this deck is pretty good. It's great, man. And I, I still, I don't think you drop the Katie economy. And you probably oh, pump it to two. I'm making choices here. Now, what I'm ultimately looking for is, so Let's go, um, I've got all of these virus counters on medium, and I'm just shy, one credit shy of getting into R&D. Every way that I slice it, I'm looking at clicks on Ichi, clicks on Eli. Uh, clicks on Tollbooth. What can I do to Tollbooth? And I'm always just coming up one credit short. And I wanted to make sure and go ahead and click through the oh. Eli there. Now, what I'm trying to do is grab the initiative here. I think he's got global food in hand, and Mason actually is groaning like he has. He only has four in hand. Odds are okay if he's got an agenda in there. I think he does. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert what? This card. Okay. That card? Yeah, archive memories again. Archive memories. Archive memories. Any, well, well, 
He did have an agenda in yeah, there, he did. by the way. Uh, Bubble food. Right? Yep. Okay. Rez is Adonis. Now, I am totally cool with this as well. Mandatory. This to me says he's not going to uh, <laughs> install the agenda that turn, which is fine. I guess he does have to purge there. So he gets three, and then he probably installs over Adonis. That's reasonable. That's still a good trade for him. Well, he's getting for sure. six money from it. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Purge is tough, man. That purge is so tough. Uh, you have to, though. You yeah. can't give your, you six cards, right? Yeah, yeah, you can't. Yeah, you have to purge that there. Mason plays this absolutely yeah. right. You got to purge in. Look at that R&D server. Now, can you imagine? Here's the thing about what I love about the Anarch rig right now is that server against any other setup, any other runner setup, mm -hmm. is just so, Nothing. so crazy, right? To get through an Ichi 2 Eli toll booth, it's like... That's like five credits, I think, right now. Depending on how you slice it, if you want to click through some things, it's pretty impressive. Six credits, right? Oh, let's see, one, two. It's five if you click through the Eli. Well, it's three for the Ichi and three for the Tall Booth. Well, yeah, if you just take the trace. I'd probably just take brain damage and tags at this point. Okay. <laughs> Why? I mean, it's like. Uh, you could trash my Ice Carver, I guess. Mm -hmm. That is tough. I'm gaining to you. And those draws, are, that's a good question on the draws. There was something very specifically I was looking for, and I can't for the life of me you remember it right now. <laughs> Install Advance Advance. Install Advance Advance. Oh, my gosh. All right, Steven. Oh, my gosh. This is it, guys. This is the situation we find ourselves in. So you can hit you can hit HQ a few times. Three and times. hope that he hit. Right. To hope that he was holding two agendas, maybe an NAPD in there. Uh, let's see. You can take a long shot on R&D. You can try to threaten the remote. You've got two unknown ice with a caprice and potentially an ash. That is horrendous. Uh, you've got an outside remote, which you've got to think, surely that's not an agenda, right? ABT that's been sitting there the whole game. There's a face down in archives. You always have to check archives in these situations. But you don't want that to be a CVS. Well, I guess it doesn't matter at this point. That's why I wasn't checking it earlier. And now you just can't make a mistake. Like, you have to take the highest odds play. We've seen... How many agendas? How many points have we seen? We assume that there's three on the board there on the initiative. Plus four. So there's seven. There's three left in the deck. Or so 13 hand. points. Or that one remote on the top. Mm-hmm. Use him. Yeah, man. So there's really three, there's three agendas left. There's yes. one more initiative and there's two, three twos. Mm -hmm. Or another NAPD. And depends on how he has it built. Yeah, and so I could put, I could take one shot at the top of r and I could take right. a couple shots at HQ. Um, but you gotta honor the NAPD at a certain point as well. Ah, uh, this is tough. Mason's got great odds on this. Um, let me do... Such a good situation. I'm gonna run. All right, we're gonna run here. And you just gotta make a choice. You just, you just follow your heart, Tim. Your netrunner heart. Followed. Yeah, this deck is so good. That's why the food is so good, man. Like, look at, look at, even with such efficient ice breaking, it's so tough. Still, still behind at the end. Look at some numbers, some pips. All right, dude. I'm gonna do it. Uh, I'll run here. Run an R&D. Run an R&D. Trace three for brain tag. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to take the brain damage and the tag. Clicking through it. I've had the hook the whole time. <laughs> had to NRE the, uh, oh, no, no, the Yogg. Yeah. Um, want to pump? What are you net rating? Uh, the Yogg. Yeah. Okay. So that it get through that toll booth. Yeah. Pay for the Eli. And then lose three to the toll booth, having exactly enough yeah. to get through. And looks at it. Score it. Are you serious? Score it. <laughs> 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 and it happened, guys. Oh, that's the game. One of the greatest netrunner moments of my life. Right, right here. Right we're gonna there. we're gonna listen <laughs> listen to the crowd. The crowd is watching this on a delay outside the top eight room. Wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> And that is why we play the game uh, of Netrunner, my Netrunner, friends. Netrunner, Netrunner. Such a special uh. game. Such a special community. This is just... No other game creates this moment. Just look at Tim. this board state. No other game creates this moment.
Look at this, the story that this board's taking tell. Uh, it's so incredible, guys. Thank you so much for uh, watching. This is the ANRPC. Get involved in your Netrunner Pro Circuit. It is one of the best things you can do. Uh, check out the website, ANR Players Circuit. That's where you can find all that information. And uh, thanks for supporting us. Data tokens and subscriptions and every all the watches and comments. We really do appreciate it. And it lets us keep moving forward. So we got so much more Netrunner coming on the channel. And uh, we appreciate you guys sticking around. See you guys.